What's going on YouTube? I wanted to give you guys a one year update on some of my day one accessories I bought off Amazon for my Tacoma. Some of these products were cosmetic but most are functional. I was definitely not looking to break the bank so most of these were all $200 or less at time of purchase. So let's take a closer look and see how they have held up after one year. If these products interest you, don't forget to check out the links in the description. This is the Tiger Auto T1 Soft Roll-Up Tonneau Cover. It's made of a heavy-duty vinyl. There is two support cross members in the middle of the uh, tonneau cover. Uh, this tonneau cover has been great. It's been uh, leak-proof for the exception of uh, the front corners of the bed. It's not due to the cover design itself, but it's just uh, the bed design of the Tacoma. But I did have some leftover RV insulation that I stuffed uh, within the cracks. Uh, if you take a closer look, you can kind of see uh, where those two bed pieces meet. So I just pretty much had this leftover insulation there. Uh, but it is a pretty sizable gap, so that's been primarily the only spot I've had water intrusion. With the cover on, there's about 18 and a half inches of clearance in the middle of the bed. Uh, between the support cross members, you have a little over 20 inches of clearance. To release the cover, there is a simple wire latch system to release the cover. And as you can see, there's a groove channel that the cover locks into place. The cover is extremely easy to roll, roll up providing full access to your bed without blocking the rear window as some hardtop covers do. That was the primary reason why I purchased this cover. There are two straps to secure the cover down. They have a simple hook that secures it onto a loop on the back of the cover. And then from there you can simply just tighten it down. This cover is great if you're looking for an inexpensive cover to provide weather protection for items in your bed. I had one scenario where I had to pick up a microwave, but it was pouring rain out that day. The microwave was taller than the cover, but I was still able to cover the microwave box with the cover because the cover is loose, essentially, when it's not locked down, and I was able to secure it down along the Velcro straps. And then I also used a bungee cord to further tighten down the cover so it wouldn't fly open, but it worked great. This style of cover is not good for you if you're looking to have a secure place for your belongings. Obviously you can't beat a hard tonneau cover for that, but those do cost quite a bit more. But if you are looking for a secure place for your belongings, uh, this is not your solution. These are the Oedro 6.5 inch running boards. These are aluminum and they're also powder coated. Uh, these are nice because they offer a great deal of flexibility mounting them. Uh, they can move left and right or also in and out when you mount them so you can kind of more or less move them where you want to. These steps are good if you don't want steps that hang too low uh, but they do kind of inhibit your ability to get into the truck a little bit more naturally which I'll show a little bit later in this video. Now let's take a look underneath and you can see the brackets uh, have some rusting on them, especially on the bolts. Uh, it's probably from road debris, obviously road salts. I do live in the Wingland, so I'm in the, the rust belt uh, in regards to that. But taking a close look underneath, you can kind of see the mounting position of the brackets and the steps itself. Uh, steps moving left and right, you kind of have unlimited motion, but in and out, you're obviously limited to the bracket, but it's nice flexibility to have. Because these steps sit a little higher, the position to get into the cab is a little bit awkward. Uh, you have to like step up and then you kind of fall back down into the seat. Uh, predator step that has the bar that hangs a little bit lower is a more comfortable natural entry into the truck. Because I have the steps out a little bit, if you want to just naturally step out of the truck, uh, the Running boards will brush along your legs, so if there is debris on the boards, it will get your pants dirty. 
These steps are probably perfect for you if you have to access a roof rack on a consistent basis. Uh, because uh, the board sticks out quite a bit and it runs the length of the cab of the truck, it just makes accessing your roof uh, a lot easier than say a Predator step. Next are these C-Lite 6000K LED bulbs. These bulbs are awesome because this one bulb fills multiple style bulb housings. I use the same bulb style for my headlights, fog lights, and headlights. They are also plug and play setup and the ballast is compact as well. So it's super easy to install and adds a huge improvement at nighttime driving. They work really well. Here's some footage from my Fitcam Max dash cam driving at night. Uh, you can see when the high beams are on, the fog lights turn off. Uh, so you can see the change of pattern as well and show you the difference between the fog light housings and how well they cast a wide beam at night as expected. But these work great. Next are these bed lights that are a must have if you have a tonneau cover. This helps illuminate your bed at night when you have your cover on. Uh, this was a simple install, it was plug and play. The lights plug into a pre-wired harness that is located behind the taillights. So all you have to do is remove uh, each taillight, uh, remove the plastic cap that was there, install the lights and just plug and play and reinstall your taillights. So these work great, as you can see they illuminate the bed really well. Next up are some cosmetic items. I got these black letters that spell out Tacoma for the tailgate. I like these because these are raised, uh, kind of adds like a 3D look. It looks better than just a sticker going into the embossed part of the gate. But I think it looks good. Um, I also got these other badges that is a plastic overlay that goes over the existing badge. Uh, to me you can't even tell. Uh, obviously they stuck on and have had no issues with it falling off. I also got these AVS in-channel vent visors. Uh, these are great because you can leave your windows cracked to keep your car vented and without fear of it raining inside. I think it looks good too, it's just a classic truck look to me. Uh, but I like the particular in-channel look, it just looks more flush um, and I just like them. But they also add some bit of UV protection, especially during high noon when the sun is up. I picked up these car seat gap organizers. These are great for adding additional space uh, to your center console area. Uh, when you have two cups in the Tacoma, it's kind of hard to reach that area in front of your cup holders. So this is just nice to have additional space for storage. Uh, these will fit any car. It's universal. Uh, the foam inserts can be placed anywhere you want. I did use screws just to tighten down the foam pieces in place because they were moving a little bit, but otherwise these work great. The trailer hitch I use is a Kurt that is rated for 7,500 pounds. This is a 2 inch ball with a 2 inch drop. Uh, these are nice because the ball can be removed so if you have to go with an inch and a half ball which is also common for small trailers you can use a 2. I've only towed small utility trailers with like a log splitter on it but I don't do much towing. On the interior I do use a glove box organizer and also a center console tray. I'm sure you've probably seen other, other YouTube videos on these as well. Uh, these are great additions, they're fairly inexpensive and they ask, add nice storage options to the inside of your truck. I did also upgrade uh, all my interior lights to LED light bulbs. I decided not to show those in this video because like I said I'm sure you've seen them before but they are links in the description if you're curious which bulbs I use. Thanks for watching my video and if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to stay in the loop. Until next time.